Hey everybody, I'm your pal the Kanyon, and today I have some Pokemon Showdown to show you guys. A very good friend of mine, whom I will put in the annotations and in the description below, made me a Pokemon team build. So I'm giving it a try, and it's not bad. Um, now this first match uh, is a replay, and that's kind of why it's going by super quick. But right here, uh, I swapped in a Dragonite because I knew it could resist a lot of stuff. Now, Avalug, no matter what Dragonite does, will have the advantage. So I swapped in a Rotom, and I assumed Rotom would have been good here. And I was mildly right. I get the burn in so that it halves the attack of Avalug. Otherwise, that crunch probably would have finished Rotom off. And I'm just kind of stalling it at this point. Um, more or less, just to kind of get some time in. And Avalog goes down. Ice does not resist water, uh, surprising enough. Now this Halucha, man, this Halucha plagued me. Look at it go. I don't know why I swapped in a Slowbro. I guess I thought I could paralyze it, but it had immune. So Slowbro has Regenerator, so I swap it out. Go back to Dragonite, because I know he's going to go for x -Dizzer. Now Dragonite resists Bug very well. Dragon Claw doing some work. I didn't honestly think it would hit as hard as it did and he gets really unlucky with that hypnosis and I follow up with extreme speed Tyrantrum comes in now I got kind of nervous here because Tyrantrum has high attack but oddly enough Dragonite was pretty bulky so I've, I've learned to trust in the Dragonite and then I'm realizing that he's got a nicknamed Delphox I thought that was that was different. So it stole my leftovers. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I realize I can't really do much to this thing. So I swap out to Slowbro, who is just gaining health back. Now it burns Slowbro, and I'm thinking, well, that's kind of lame, but I can work around that. And it hits Slobo with a critical hit psychic, but we I mean at this point it's like, do I do I even try? <laughs> Slobo, come on. So I swap him out actually, because I decide I do want to try. I thought Talonflame was gonna get O code, but it survives and I take down Delphox with the Brave Bird. Which is good for me, because that brings it down to four against one. I swap Slowbro back in and then instantly swap him out. Again, Regenerator coming through. And Mega Scizor here isn't able to do a whole lot of damage. But now Slowbro is back up to fighting shape. So I knew the X Scissor was coming, but I forget that it has Limber. And this is where I kind of start to second guess myself. But on the plus side, um, Scizor was able to at least soak up a hit. And, I mean, I don't want- I do not want to switch into Celebi at all. x Scissor would destroy it. So, my options really were Slowbro or Dragonite, and I opted for Slowbro, and it paid off. So, there's that battle. Then this battle was interesting. Um, like, almost this entire team, minus Zapdos, was shiny. So I thought, alright. And then I saw his name was Bend Over Bailey, and I thought that was kind of funny. I don't know if that's a reference to something or what, but he decides to give Slobo Truant, and this is where this battle really takes a nosedive. Uh, I, this one is not a replay, but it does go by quick, so that's why I included it. Now I'm trying to actually burn this Durant so that its attack gets halved, but I ended up just knocking it out. So that's all well and good, and this Doug Trio I'm thinking, alright, well, I have to, like, rest every other turn because of Truant now. And, funny enough, I mean, it's Slowbro. You would think that that's natural. So, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I can do here. I consider swapping, but Dugtrio has Arena Trap. So, now my options are super limited, and it's going to keep doing Home Claws, so I figure, okay, what is it doing? It's just gonna buff itself, use Protect on the turns I can move. So I'm, but I'm stuck. So 
so at this point I'm kind of figuring, alright, this guy had a strategy coming into this battle, and it's working out great for him, because now that Doug Trio is just going to get all the accuracy and physical attack in the world, and I can't touch it. And weirdly enough, he used Protect twice in a row, maybe it was a misclick, but I was able to get Scald, and then I thought, what if it has Reversal or Flail? Can Dugtrio even learn Flail? I don't know, but I was kind of just assuming that Slowbo was going to go down, and he just keeps using Home Claws. I don't... I don't know what he's doing. Like, he's just not attacking me at all. He's just going to buff up, keep buffing up. So at this point, I'm like, alright, um, he's just going to get max stats, and I'm just going to have to extreme speed it with uh, Dragonite when I get the chance, but then like, I mean just watch, just watch, he keeps going, like he tried to use Home Claws again, then there's a Protect, and like I don't know what his, his plan is, now that Stone Edge did not KO me, so I'm thinking oh boy, I can't swap out still. But he's just gonna... I don't know why he even bothered to use Protect. Because all that means is I get some more health back. Which, it didn't matter. He had plus, like, he had max stage boost of attack. But Dragonite with the extreme speed comes in, and the guy forfeits. I don't really understand why. I It was, it was fine. It was a... Uh, 1 to 1, or 1 to 2. But anyways, that's all the battles I have for this. Um, if you want to check out my buddy, uh, just check out the annotations and the description below. And thanks for watching, everybody.